Sometimes it's useful to be able to create your own tag sets to identify specific characteristics within your observations. Administrators within your organization can do this. Simply click on the admin button, followed by tag sets. Here you can see all of the tag sets available to your users. The ones with the ticks are available, the ones with the crosses alongside them are not currently visible. To create a new tag set, simply click on add a new tag set. From here, give the tag set a name and a brief description. Then click on continue. If you have an existing tag set that you would like to copy but modify, you can choose this tag set here and import it for editing. This can help save some time when preparing new tag sets. To create a new tag set, we simply work through the options available to us. Firstly, the pre-tagging information form. This comes automatically defaulting to having a video title and a description. You can select other forms of control from the right hand side to insert these into the form. For example, if I want to record some notes, I might add a multi-line text box. I give it a title and then click on save. That then adds the notes field to my pre-tagging information form. I can also create drop-down menus and selection lists. Once that's finished, click on continue to enter the add tags screen. There are, very shop there are various options here, including adding the engagement slider, which appears at the bottom. Typically, this says something like student engagement or patient comfort level, depending on the purpose of your tag set. We can then add the tags. These are the buttons that are pressed during the video to identify specific observations. Each tag must have a title, an icon, a colour, and then give it a position. We can now add the sub tags, which are the specific items that come up once the tag is pressed. Then click on save and the tag is added. Here we can also enter possession buttons, which monitor the amount of time each button is pressed. We need to give them a colour when not selected and a colour when selected. Here I'm going to choose a red colour for when the icon is not selected and a blue colour for when it is selected. This just helps to act as a reminder of which button is chosen at any one time. We then give it a position and save. Oops. Once you've finished adding the tags and the descriptors, click on continue and now we can complete the post tagging information form. Normally I'll have a multi-line text box to record some notes and where appropriate I might decide to have a drop down menu or an option list, perhaps if I want to make a judgement of something that I've seen. If you're happy that all of the information that you've created is correct, simply click on Create Tag Set and Publish. Alternatively, simply create the tag set and you can then check it before publishing it later. So here's my demonstration tag set. 
you can see that it's not yet published. And to view it, to further edit, I simply click on the pencil icon. It's important to note that once the tag set has been published, no further editing can occur. In order to publish the tag set, simply click on the cross and select OK to publish the tag set. This will then become available to your users.